meet the largest of the world's terrestrial predators, polar bears and Kodiak brown bears. Polar bears are among the few mammals living in the Arctic, and they're well dressed for the weather. Along with a thick layer of body fat, their water repellent coats insulate them from the cold air and water. Transparent hairs have a hollow core, allowing sunlight to warm up the bear's black skin. Polar bear fur has no white pigment, the reflection of the sun makes the bears look white. Polar bears generally live near open water where they hunt for their steady diet of ringed and bearded seals. The animals smell food as far as a hundred miles away and find seals denning under three feet of snow. Swimming for a meal is no problem for polar bears. Powerful forepaws and webbing between their toes work like paddles. In fact, polar bears spend so much time in the water, they're officially classified as marine mammals in some countries. Polar bears typically give birth to twins. The cubs live on their mother's high-fat milk while she fasts in the den through the winter. In spring, the bear family makes short trips from the den while the cubs adjust to the outside temperatures. Then, they make their way to the sea. Cubs stay with their mother for two years before heading out on their own. These big cubs are approaching independence. Kodiak bear cubs stay with their mother for three years before moving on to a life spent largely alone on a refuge in Kodiak Island, Alaska. Full-grown Kodiak bears, the largest of all brown bears, tolerate one another's company only during mating season and salmon season. The bears rely on the annual salmon feast to build fat for the rest of the year. When the fish are thick, the bears get picky. Some prefer the skin, others go for the roe. Fox and other scavengers are happy to eat the leftovers. Neither Kodiak bears nor polar bears are endangered. Polar bears number somewhere between 20,000 to 40,000 in the wild. About 3,000 Kodiaks rule their Alaskan island. These majestic predators have no natural enemies. And while both are still hunted by man, laws and the remote locations they've claimed as kingdoms offer some protection.